It is officially wildfire season here in North Idaho. We are completely choked in with smoke. We are also dealing with some pretty high temperatures. Last week we were in the triple digits all week long, but we still managed to get every window installed on Gabby the Addition build and make massive progress on our 40 by 64 horse barn. This week we are anticipating the completion of the barn, everything except for the large roll up doors, which will be here in about a week. And then Jeremy and I are going to continue making progress on Gabby. We also have something very, very exciting plan for the middle of the week, something that we have been waiting to do for a very long time. So a lot of great progress has been made on the barn in the past week. The fellows managed to get pretty much the majority of the metal put up on all of the walls as well as the roof, wainscoting, all of that looks great. They also have all of the windows now installed. They just got done putting the ridge cap in. Nice to see that. I think the only thing left to do is gonna to be to work on some of this small little narrow metal section. That material hasn't arrived yet. We're actually awaiting and hoping that that gets here today. And then later at the end of this week, there's a little cherry on top that's gonna to be occurring. Melissa made a special selection. Can't wait to see that installed as well. We already gave you guys a quick little tour when the building was just framed, but now that the metal is up, it makes a little bit more sense. So on the front, there are going to be two 12 by 12 roll up doors, which are gonna be great for getting anything tall in here. But if we have anything extra tall, the back door is a little bit bigger. It's a 12 by 14 roll up door. So that way we can bring equipment all the way through. So this middle section is the same width as our current shop. It is 40 feet across, but we wanted to keep the shop just at a shop. It's got the actual concrete floor so it's going to be our workspace area and also house our podcast studio our guest room and our home gym so we want to leave that building as is this space is going to be for all of our farm equipment our tractor our implements and then any equipment we may get down the road so on this side of the barn is a 12 by 40 section that is going to house all of our horse hay and we also wanted to put some windows in there just so we have some ventilation. We can get it just through the barn and definitely for the hay. Now on this side, this is my favorite side. This is where my babies live. This is going to be two 12 by 12 stalls. Their doors are going to remain open so they've got free access, but we do have the ability to close them in if we absolutely need to, if there's a really bad storm or something like that. But for the most part, we're just gonna let them have free access to this. So we're going to be building out the stalls, putting a back wall in, and then over here is going to be a 16 foot walkway and tack room. That way I can keep all of my tack really nice and conveniently stored away from the weather. And that's pretty much it. That's what we're gonna use this building for. We're very excited. It's definitely gonna be a game changer for the animals, the hay, and our tractor. With the exception of just a little bit of trim, we have one more piece of sheet metal and this side of the barn is essentially wrapped up. Last week, I shared that we were a little concerned about little Debbie, our 18 year old pony. We've had her for about three months now and she has pretty rapidly put on weight since coming here. So we're a little concerned because it could mean that she is foundering, which is a very bad thing or that she has a metabolic disease, which is also not great. And then the other possibility is that she could have possibly been bred and we did not know about it. So today we have Dr. Burt coming out, our farm vet, and he is going to get to the bottom of this. Hopefully he's going to for sure preg check her. So we will at least know if little Debbie is expecting a littler Debbie. We're kind of hoping not because she's older and we weren't planning on a little, little Debbie. All right, we have little Debbie in a makeshift chute here so she can't move around too much. We are thinking that he, she's probably just overweight, which means we have a lot of exercise and diet to do, but we definitely wanna make sure, so they've got a little ultrasound machine here and we may go a step further to see, just to rule out pregnancy, but I'm thinking that's probably not our issue. I mean, she's starting to get a little bit of a crease right here, mm -hmm. where if we, if we got much farther, we'd be able to, take a marble and roll it down her back and it would just sit in here. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is, we look here at the jiggling and we do have some fat right here in our, in our neck. Um, 
All right, Dr. Britt just left and we got some good news. Little Debbie is not pregnant. We got even better news in that she does not have a metabolic disease. And the best news that we got is she is not foundering. She's not even showing any signs of founder. So that's really, really good news because that's what I was worried about. So she is a little pudgy. She's about 50 to 70 pounds overweight. So he said, keep her on the diet that she's on because we're going into winter and she's going to thin out just trying to keep warm, but to increase her exercise a little bit. So we're gonna do that. I'm really glad that we had him out because it just gave Kira and I a lot of peace of mind. So now that we know that little Debbie is healthy and safe, we're gonna get back to work. So the guys from Coverage Contractors are almost fully wrapped up with this barn here with the exception of just some trim, a few panels of soffit. Things are looking really, really good. Once they are wrapped up for the remainder of what is supposed to be a half day. Hey Key. Yes. Are you gonna be leaving this piece of equipment here? Uh, I can if you want it. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. I mean, <laughs> nope, we're gonna leave it here. Okay, can we borrow it for a project of our own? Absolutely. Appreciate it, sir. Okay. Thank you so we're much. Leave it here, so we're gonna come back with the cupola. So. Okay, fantastic. There you go. So Melissa and I are gonna be borrowing this. We have a project of our own to be banging out later today. zoomed and there we go there we go okay we have the lift all to ourselves for two days so this afternoon we are going to take the opportunity to get all of the fascia stained on the addition build because we need to get the gutters installed if we don't have the gutters installed by fall we're going to have a real mess on our hands as far as drainage goes so that's priority one since we are already staining, we are going to go ahead and put a second coat on the fascia on the house and also the timber truss. The only real wood or actual outdoor wood that we have on the builds is the fur fascia and the timber truss. So we have to stain it about every two to three years to keep the wood looking nice, which makes me very thankful that we did not do timber siding on the entire house. Can you imagine? You ready, Kenji? He's ready, he's supervising. You ready to be a supervisor? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, convincing. Transparent. 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 Tra transparent. <laughs> it's one of those words, the more you repeat it, the more it gets in my head and I can't. Wait, transparent sounds even weirder. Uh, transparent, transparent. Trans but, semi but, but don't break it up into two words. It's not a transparent. <laughs> it's semi transparent. Trans transparent. Okay. Ready? I have a hard time saying transparent apparently. So it's a semi transparent oil based stain. We like to use the semi transparent stain because it shows off the wood grain. It does mean that we have to do it more regularly, probably on a biannual basis here for the rest of our lives, but it is what it is. We like the way it looks. <laughs> and I'm 
been a while since Melissa's been up in the basket. Yeah, I like to be uh, behind the control. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do the, 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 it's the bunny bend, only way less sexy. <laughs> you want a cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is the hornets are attracted to this, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Why is it making that noise? Are we stuck? Yeah, it won't start. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> Jerry, don't! <laughs> oh my god. Woo! I thought we were gonna slide down this thing like a slide. All right, Jeremy went to go refill the stain and I ducked inside to see if the kids were getting ready for our long drive that is coming later in the week. They are thankfully getting their clothes ready and they are also getting all of our Raycon earbuds all charged up for the drive. Our family is all about these Raycon earbuds. We wear them all the time. They are so comfortable. You literally cannot even feel them and they are the first earbuds that we've tried that don't budge on us and we definitely put them to the test. Perhaps our favorite feature about the Raycon earbuds is the super convenient tap function. We can be in awareness mode if we need to pay attention to everything going on around us, but we can also easily switch into the noise isolation mode, which is so helpful for kids doing homework. I homeschool four kids in different grades, so for them to be able to just focus on what they are doing is so helpful. I love that Raycon comes in a variety of colors because there is something for everybody. They also come in red and rose gold, and for me, it's very easy to tell them apart when I get everyone a different color. We use our Raycon earbuds for listening to our favorite podcasts, homeschooling, work around the homestead, even in our home gym. And they last a really long time, eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life so we never have to worry about them dying on us in the middle of a long road trip or just on an average busy day around here. Raycon also offers all of the features of other premium audio brands, but they start at half the price, which is a total winner for the whole family. Since school is back in session, Raycon is having their annual back to school sale. Just go to buyraycon.com slash goodsimpleliving and you are going to get 20% off for a limited time plus free shipping. You do not want to miss this sale. So we have these little gable ends that never got taped off, mostly because we just couldn't reach them on a ladder and we ran out of time when we had the lift last time. So as I'm staining the sides, Jeremy is taping off the little gable ends. You know, all of these pictures are, are not very encouraging. Oh, what? The pictures. Oh yeah, pay no attention to that. Those little pictures. Yeah, don't worry about those little pictures. Okay. Really tough to maneuver the basket in between Gabby, the addition, and the house. The nice thing is that now we are sandwiched between the two roof lines. So we can get the fascia on this side and the fascia back behind us. That is nice. <laughs> you started all the look you gave. I spread over and over among us. When we were younger. When we were younger, I had in mind to keep an eye on you. What you feel the room without very, a That's very scary. You're in the loft. When we were younger, and I held my breath, and like it was my last one, but you stayed it right in front of us. We're up at the very top of the main house and our chimney pipe has a tag that apparently has been left on the backside. Never noticed it before, but I've never been looking at it from this perspective. So we're gonna move over, get that pulled off for sure. All is right with the world. That's better. All right, this is the part that I'm most excited to do because this big wide fascia got so hammered by the weather because the sun just beats on it and it got really, really bleached out. So I'm excited to get some stain on it. Oh, looks so much better.
All right, Mama, looks good. Seven hours of staining, but we did it. We're good for another two years. <laughs> That's such a relief. I'm glad we got it done today. We got packing to do. After seven hours in the car, we have safely arrived to my hometown of Seattle, Washington. It is always crazy to be back here. We are only going to be in the city for about 24 hours. This is going to be a whirlwind of a trip because we need to get home to our animals and of course, for the completion of the barn build. So we're gonna check into our hotel and we are going to be up very, very early in the morning. Bright and beautiful early morning, family got up, we lugged them out here. We are on board with Captain Doug with 365 Charters. He's taking us out for what kind of fishing are we doing today? We're gonna do some salmon fishing and if you guys get all the fish in the boat quick enough, we might even do some bottom fishing. Oh, I love it. So it's a beautiful day, we're gonna head out. Hopefully we catch some fish. We're gonna catch fish. <laughs> Jeremy, you're gonna have a fish on the left, so you're gonna get the rod, get the fish on. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, you good. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh, buddy, keep going. Oh, oh it's up there. Oh, oh, no. Oh, snap the line. That was, was a, a nice shit. one. Oh, dude. Wow. That was a huge fish, man. That was big. Dude, what happened? Uh, I got a fish, but then the line snapped. Mm, bummer. We'll get another one, though, huh? Is it cool? Uh-huh. Was it strong? Yeah. Very strong. Real. Go! Real! Go, 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 go! Go! Real! 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 Faster! 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 There you go! 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 Good! Your speed is very good. Very good. Yep. Yep. Over here. There you go. Yeah. Nice job. Okay, hold the rod. Don't let go. I'm over here. Lift him up. There you go. Fish was on there. Was Ooh, that the easiest fish you've ever caught? So easy. Back up. <laughs> I'm a master now. I'm a master. Nice fish. I thought there was a shake around here. I didn't realize yeah. it was this big. So we got two fish on the boat. We've moved over. We are fishing a new spot, hoping to find some additional fish. What do you think? You feeling confident, Captain Doug? Feeling good. Oh, I love it. Feeling good. Oh, look, look here, look. Oh, I came oh. off. Oh. Barbless hook strike again. Did you feel it? Good job. Is that cool? Did you see a jump? We're we don't want that one anyway. That happens. <laughs> that was a bad apple. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I heard about that guy. Yeah, we don't want that guy. Oh, I came off right at the neck. Oh. Oh. Here, you got the touch gear off. All right, it is Miss Kira's turn to reel up a fish. She has reeled up two, but we lost both of them right at the last minute. So we're going to get her to the next one. Keep go, go, go. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Third one. Oh my God. <laughs> Third one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Real, 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 real. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Uh. Oh. I don't know if the Sousa family is very good at fishing. We have lost five, <laughs> but we have two in the boat. Our limit that we can catch is 12, so we're gonna keep trying. Barbless hooks. <laughs> we're gonna blame Watch the barbless hooks. Oh, it's gone. Oh, oh, we are on a roll. Oh, 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 o
fish which means we can catch one more we see one plan jeremy's the last one that hasn't caught his limit so let's go Whoa. We have tagged out on salmon for the day. We're gonna move over to the opposite side of the Puget Sound here. We're gonna do some flounder fishing, some bottom fishing. And he said it's gonna be fast and furious, like the movie. <laughs> so we might pull up some Hondas, maybe some uh, Don't. Accords, Don't. Civics. No. no. Just flounder. Ooh, it's a shark. Oh my god. Shark. Why does it look like a shark? <laughs> Good job, twofer. Woo! Get them. All with, no more reeling. Back all the way into the boat. Isn't that great? Get to save your bait. Oh, a twofer. All right, back all the way up over here. Good job. Okay, back in. All right, absolutely amazing time. We had so much fun, so we're gonna head back. We have a lot of fish to clean out because we still have to drive home today. <laughs> right in the middle of our busiest time of year, our friend Doug asked us if we wanted to take the kids fishing. And I instantly thought of every good excuse why not to go. Sometimes we can get seasick, we're getting ready for school to start. The drive is long. But then I thought, when are we going to get this chance again? The days are absolutely flying by and now another summer has passed. Go. So we went and we truly had the most amazing day doing something that we've always talked about but never actually done. We took a day to say yes to making a memory instead of working or cleaning or just being too busy. And I am forever grateful for that. Smile, say cheese. cheese. Say fish. 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 <laughs> I'm so glad that there's still people out there like Captain Doug. People who realize that these experiences are rare 
and precious and necessary. People who provide us with an opportunity to do something that is worth saying yes to. Sir, thank you, man. Appreciate it. That was a great day. You thank you for showing job. our family an awesome day, seriously. I loved having you guys. Oh, you guys did a fantastic it. job bringing fish in. We will be back for sure. For our video, where can people find you? If you go to 365charters.com, you can find me there for fishing. If you like fishing content, check out my YouTube channel at Ridge to River Outdoors. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. We Thank had a great guys. time. Thank you once again for taking us out. It was an awesome, awesome Loved day. having your family. Thank awesome you. time. Thank you so you much. Bet. We had an amazing time. We brought home a lot of fish. But the best part is we put one more memory in the books for our family. And it's crazy to think that I almost said we were too busy. It is so important to never be too busy to live the life that you are working so hard for.